I've been trying to make this movie for the better part of 10 years. So last year, this time when we were in New Jersey, uh, we started the movie on my 51st birthday. It was like fantasy camp. We got to go back to where it all began, to literally be in the same place where we were doing the same things 29 years prior, literally saying some of the same stuff. So it was uh, meta bliss. It was like a burrito that just kept folding in on itself, and full of bliss. I hope when they leave Clerks 3, the audience feels like they should go home and try some stuff that they've always wanted to try in life and put it off to the side, because tomorrow's never promised, so seize the day kind of thing. It is, uh, it's a movie that should make you feel creative. You should feel like you're hanging out with a bunch of old friends and then inspire you to go do something you haven't done in a long time. I remember we were composing this film by watching the first film, and it was playing on HBO Max that month. So we would pull it up on, on my phone, get the frame we were trying to mimic, pause it and then just hang it next to the monitor. Leron, who's our DP, would compose to that. And we'd be like, Brian, move in an inch. Jeff, move over like an inch. And now it's perfect, let's go. I, I, it was so weird when we first made the movie, streaming didn't even exist. Uh, when we made the third movie, streaming saved our asses, helped us check our work every time we were doing a flashback. As long as I'm alive, there's always going to be an, a possibility there's a clerk something. Uh, so yeah, I, I wouldn't say we're, we're done quite yet, but it, it feels like a, a nice sense of closure uh, to Clerks 3.